What is going on guys? It's Wrath here, back with my episode, I believe this is 9, of my Monster Hunter 1 playthrough. So today we're actually not going to be using the Greatsword. Um, you'll probably see a lot more of the Greatsword later in the game. But uh, for now we're using the, the Poison Axe, Sword and Shield. Because we're doing a specialty mission. Um, this one isn't, you know, completely, you know, annoying. Uh, but it is, it is kind of annoying. Um, so we're going to be starting off with Attack of the Giant Bugs. So we have to kill 30 Vespoids. And the reason we're using the Poison Axe is because with the Poison Affix, we can actually poison the Vespoid, and instead of them being completely obliterated by our attack, we can actually carve them. And we're going to need, you know, Vespoid pieces uh, for later stuff in the game. And so, yeah, this is probably the best way to go about doing it. I actually have no space for any of that, but I, I doubt I'll need anything besides the... Uh, says these. Yeah. So, good news. I've actually started a new job today. Um, I was actually, if you remember previously, I was working at a water park. And the pay was pretty bad. Uh, I won't lie. The pay was pretty horrendous. But now I'm working at another place and I'm making pretty good money. I'm starting off uh, $4 more than what I was making at the other place. Yeah, so, you know, if that gives you any idea of how much of an increase it is. But, uh, it's a lot harder work. Uh, it's remodeling homes and things like that. And installing doors and vinyl siding and a bunch of other things. And there you go. You see see the poison axe coming into effect already. Um, we'll go ahead and get rid of these Ayu Prey things. To listen very closely because if you're quiet, you actually hear he's gonna die from that poison if you watch and wait. Just watch. Haha! -ha! Knew it. Hornitar wing. And the Hornitars are basically just like the ground version of the Vespoid. So this mission can kind of be annoying. But it can also be kind of relaxing. Uh, a large change of pace from what we're used to playing this game as. Uh, I don't think there's any more here. And I can't hear any wings flapping. So we're going to head on to the next area. A lot of them like to hang out in like areas like uh, 9 and 10. Uh, in the caves. Oh, I don't know what that one is. There we go, nice. It's another. Anytime you can carve these guys, it's like amazing. Because it's so hard to carve them without having a poison weapon. Now, you can definitely use um, like poison smoke bombs. I think that's like a toadstool and bomb material. And it works decently, but definitely not nearly as well as this method. Nice. It's another one down. Maybe we'll get a monster fluid from this one. A Vespoid shell. Now we're actually going to have to uh, create the armor set for something later in the game. Uh, I, I definitely won't spoil it now. But you're definitely going to want to stick around to the end of this series because it only gets better after this. Um, there's really no quests like this once we get to 5 star quests. And after that we'll be um, doing some more fun missions. And we're definitely going to get um, the armor set from one of those monsters. Um, it's amazing. That, that's all I can really say. Is it's, it's like the coolest armor I've ever seen in a Monster Hunter game. And I've played all of them. Now, maybe not the coolest, but it's definitely in the top five for me. Um, but you guys will definitely see that. Uh, I have no problem farming for that armor. But I, I do have a problem with farming for armor that I'm not, like, totally in love with. And the skills for it aren't, aren't amazing, but it looks so cool that I don't even care. And there's a monster fluid right there. Um, we can get rid of these husk berries because I definitely won't be using them for anything. We only have 20 left. 
And these don't count, actually. It's kind of sad. And I don't hear any here. No, I do. Behind me. No, that's not Iron Prime, maybe. Oh, but the Hornets are. Annoying. Slow down. But yeah, I actually had to go to work today also, uh, so I'm recording this like right out of work. Uh, it was a slow day because of the rain. Uh, it's actually supposed to rain where I am for the next seven days straight. Um, if you don't know where I live, I live in North Carolina. I'm definitely not telling you my exact address or a city, but I live close to a military base, if that helps you at all. But, um, yeah, so it's supposed to rain here for the next seven days. Kind of crazy. It's actually raining all last week, too, so I don't, I don't know where all this rain's coming from. Well, I actually do. It's coming from, um, down lower. Like, uh, like, uh, Mississippi. I know they've been getting a lot of rain. I lived in Mississippi for a while also, actually, and it's probably my favorite place to live. Um, just because of the location. Like, location is everything for living somewhere. Like, people matter, yeah, and your, your friends and all that, but, you know, if you're like me, you can pretty much make friends anywhere. But the location was, was it for me. Like, I lived maybe a five-minute walk from the coast, and because of that, I could just go to the beach whenever I wanted to. And if you know anything about me, I love water. Um, I was on swim team, and I'm a lifeguard, or was a lifeguard, now I'm not. But yeah, I just... I love the ocean, and I love the water, and anything to do with it, like, I'm sold already. Nice. That's two monster fluids in one mission. Go for a three? Maybe not. But yeah, so living so close to the water was, like, my favorite thing. Um, but, you know, I think the universe works its itself out, um... If I had never moved back home, I would have never met my girlfriend, who I've been with for about a year. And who plan I plan on marrying, and, and, and that's exciting. But but without, you know, me moving back here, there would be no... Th that wouldn't have happened. You know, that I would have never met her or any of my other friends, you know. So, and I would have never started mixed martial arts either. Uh, I actually do that. Uh, and used to do that pretty much every single day. That was my entire life. Uh, but now I've, I've slowed down on it a little bit, but I plan on getting back into it more more in depth. And and she's probably the the main the main one uh, getting me back into it because I actually met her through mixed martial arts. Uh, and we've we trained together for about a year and a half. So so I've known her a, a pretty fair amount of time, and uh, and got to know her through being a friend and things like that and I think that's the best way to go about doing it um, I don't think anyone should ever rush off and get married or even rush off and, and to date someone that they haven't you know become at least friends with at least good friends with and we're gonna uh, end our mission here so this this was a pretty uh, a s pretty simple mission not too much trouble um, got a few few wings Let's see how many we got actually Oh, five best boy wings, actually. I think we need ten to make the armor piece. Oh, dude, a double for the finisher? Dude, come on, it doesn't get better than that. And we'll probably clear a few more quests, because we're only nine minutes in. But yeah, I, I would, if, if you'll ever take any advice from me in any situation in your life, please listen to me on relationships. Like, I know I'm not the best, but... I would never give you bullshit advice that I wouldn't use myself. Know the person first. And a lot of times, you don't even know that person. Like, you think you know them, but you really don't. Um, so, so, rushing off to get married is it's never a good idea in my, my book. It's always better to take it slow, because there's no rush. There's no rush to do anything. Uh, I don't understand. Like, a lot of people my age are in such a hurry to do things and it's like I understand you know you, you want to start and, and, and get your boots on the ground and uh, hit the ground running is the word I was looking for yeah 
but it really doesn't have to be like that. As long as you're doing what you need to do, who cares how long it takes you to do it? You know, unless you're at work. Definitely work fast at work and work hard, but other than that. We really didn't get shit for the rewards for that. That's kind of embarrassing. And no real money either. That's just kind of like, I guess, a gathering quest to get materials for whatever the hell. But it's done now. Never have to do it again. I'm probably lying. We're probably going to end up having to do that again someday. Um, let's go look at what the armor piece requires for that. Uh, Vespoid armor. Negative 5 to fire and negative 5 to water. Jesus. It needs uh, 3 more wings. Okay, not, not bad. And you only need 5 shell for the vest. Alright. Go ahead and store all of our junk before we get started on the next one. Probably gonna sell those cut few things. Uh, put these monster foods away. Because monster foods are like so useful for pretty much everything. Any weapon that you that is a bone path, I'm pretty sure requires you to have that. And I really didn't want to have to buy that. But I was gonna have to buy it someday anyways, and so we'll just make that day today. And we're already back up to 3,400, so no, no real big deal. And I wanted to buy it so I could actually just show you. Oh, we actually don't have our book of combos because it was stolen by the Gypsaros. That's what it was. Dang it. That's pretty annoying. Oh well, that's fine. Oh, we can still. Probably, well, we're gonna try to do it at least. So I definitely need before I do anything. I need those power extracts, and I don't know where that is. Maybe they're in my inventory. Um, no. Well, where are they? Oh, I see it now. I was looking in the wrong place. So we're going to go back to that guy and buy the second book of combos. Just so we'll have a higher percentage chance of not wasting. Because I really do not like failing those um, combinations. Because those items are kind of hard to get. So we'll combine a weldon stick with a power extract and get a mega juice. And we got two of them. Nice. No, I was actually combining a large barrel and a gunpowder and actually only got um, one out of like making three. And it was an 85% chance, but I got two garbages. Or actually, I think it was three garbage before I actually got the um, thing I was looking for. And we're going to swap weapons back to the uh, great serpent player. I actually. On my original account that had over like 1500 hours, this is one of my favorite offline weapons. Uh, and we'll go and kill the Gendrom. So we haven't even killed one Gendrom yet, and we're about to go kill two. So, easy day. And they're, they're no different than the um, Velocidrome. I mean, they're probably a little bit stronger health wise, and they might do a little bit more damage, but other than that, no real change. They look fairly the same. And just like the Iodrome can stun you, uh, these ones can, er, sorry. Just like the Iodrome, these ones can stun you, and the Iodrome can poison you. So, just be mindful of that before you go out. Now, what you can do, I don't think that, um, the Velocipre armor, uh, keeps you from getting stunned. And I didn't bring Psycho Serum, so we're probably just gonna run around like idiots because we have no clue where we're going but it's totally fine i'm gonna assume he's gonna be in five if he's gonna be here so these are game prey what the prey look like i'm not really gonna worry about them too much and there's actually velocity prey here too but we pretty much one shot those guys Let's see if he's in area nine
Okay, so not in area 9. Yes, in area 9, maybe. Maybe? No? Okay. I saw the little one on I thought it was a big one, but I was wrong. Maybe he's here? I do not see him anywhere. So that leads me to believe that I was wrong. I think by the time we get back to 4, he's going to be in 4. Or 5, sorry. We're in 4 right now. Duh. Oh, there he is, right there. He's kind of, This is kind of a larger one. Oh. I don't know why I'm paintballing him. Because he doesn't fly away. He just runs. I think we've got him on the edge of the, the arena right here. So we're pretty much just going to... Oh, he's so... <laughs> This is amazing! I love Monster Hunter! This is so beautiful! I, I can't think of anything else I would rather be doing with my time right now. Dude! That was amazing! Wow, I am so glad I got that on video. <laughs> oh man, that would never happen again in a million years. That's the thing that happens, man. That, that's, <laughs> that's the beauty of live recording, because you never know what's gonna happen that was awesome I don't care what anyone says call me a cheater call me whatever you want but it's in the game and I'm using it and you can't stop me Capcom can't stop me no one can stop me amazing I love that but here's the problem with killing him so quickly is we have to wait forever for the next one to spawn Ah, oh, I missed. Wait for it. Ha ha! Gotcha. Ow. And there's no real need to clear the area. I'm just kind of doing it for fun right now. I mean, I guess it helps, but... Who cares? Just can't break. Now, if they were Bulfango, that would be a completely different story. And we would 100% always clear the area. But these little guys, like, they stand really no chance. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time before the release of the alpha of Dauntless to, to make a, another Let's Play. And I really don't wanna start one and then have to end it mid, mid season or mid series. Or, or rather slow down mid-series because there's no way I would ever stop a series halfway through I've seen way too many people to do that and it, it, it baffles me um, how many non-committed youtubers are out there that will produce like quality content for their viewers and then out of nowhere just give up on it and it's, it's really disheartening to see that and, like maybe you're watching a series that, that was like maybe like three years old and then you get like maybe three quarters of the way through and then you go to see the next episode and it's not there dude that is like horrendous um, a guy I used to watch pretty much religiously when I was uh, a child Leroy if you've ever heard of Leroy on YouTube you're familiar with the, him doing um, Pokemon Let's Plays that was my shit when I was like 13 oh my god Leroy was like m my idol and then I ran into, um, I think it was Prince Boo and Chugga Conroy and a few of those other guys, but mostly Leroy. Leroy was like, he was the one for me, and out of nowhere, he just stopped producing content. It was, it was really sad. Um, he didn't say anything about it. He just disappeared. Um, I play Call of Duty also, and there's another guy named X-Jaws. Uh, I don't want to get into this because I don't think I have any right or... Uh, room to talk about this because I really have no like position on YouTube yet so I don't feel like I'm um, certified to speak on this but he kind of fell out the same way his was through what, what was supposedly a, a drug addiction and that really breaks the fourth wall between um, content creator and viewer 
where, where the content creator and the viewer are or rather the viewer is aware that the content creator is a person with issues and life and all these other things but when you're watching a video it's just kind of like a voice to talk back to you so I think that's pretty sad that, that you know that happened the way it did but it seems to be doing fine now uh, Leroy is also doing fine uh, you could probably look at his channel all you have to do is type in Leroy and it'll pop right up it's still the number one and finally the Gendrome is here I don't know where but he's here somewhere in the area maybe if I stand still he'll show up ah there you are jump right over my face maybe we can get him to the wall Aha! Ah, uh, no. Get off the wall. You're in trouble now, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah, this is pretty much like. I wouldn't say cheating. But it definitely feels kind of like cheating. Because he like double stuns, you know? So I get the original like half stun. I think this will kill him maybe. Possibly. This one for sure. Oh, now he's leaving. I think when we go in the next area and we hit him once, he'll die. I'm going to bet money. I'm going to bet four cents. Yeah, four cents. Oh, that was the best four cents I ever saved. This one right here. This one right here. Right here. Right here. Yup. I knew it. Psychic. Psychic abilities. Another channel that I like to watch. Uh, I don't know why I'm promoting all these. No. Please, no. Don't say it ain't so. <laughs> There's no way I can carve him. Oh man. Another channel I like to watch is uh, Team Four Star. They're always producing like Dragon Ball Z abridged episodes. I don't know if you've ever seen that in your entire life, but if you haven't, you're really missing out. But yeah, it's it's amazing. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you anything about else about it. Like just Team Four Star, T E A M Four Star, and that's that's the channel, and you should really go watch. There's like 59 episodes, so you have plenty of content and they're all like really good and it's not like little like parodies like sketches it's actually so it's it's the Dragon Ball Z series but they change the mouthpieces so they change the way it looks like their words they're saying and they replace it with their own words and it's, it's fantastic it's like probably the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life on YouTube I would definitely say that besides like the professional hacky sack tournament or like air guitar world champions I would say that's probably up there too. So we get we get gameplay skills, four, eight, twelve, and then ten things. Nice. And a little bit of money. Alright, cool. We only have a few more quests to do, actually. You know what? Uh, if we have the quest, we're going to go ahead and do it. If we don't have it, we're going to... Yep, we got it. So, we're going to catch a giant cut cute in the forest and hills. So, if you've never done that before, you're going to want to have a trap tool. You're also going to want to have a net. And we need those. I don't know if we need bomb material to make trank bombs. Okay, maybe we have to buy them from this guy. Can we buy tranquilizers from me? No, we can't. So, trank bombs, we're gonna. Maybe from sleep herbs. Do we have sleep herbs? We have two. Maybe that's, a, that's the combination. It's not. I don't know what that makes. Maybe it makes sleep shot. Anyways. That's not how we make it, but 
anyways, we, uh, I keep saying anyways. I need to really work on my verb ability. So you got a pitfall trap. Um, to capture a monster, you need a trap. If you don't know that already, then I would suggest going back to the beginning of the, the series because you have not been paying attention at all. But we're gonna go in with a great sword just because I rarely use the great sword for any other things besides, like, prey missions. Uh, now definitely we're gonna use our poison battle axe later um, for other specific things. This is actually our first capture quest. So we get trink bombs, six of them actually, and a pitfall trap um, stock and a trap tool. So they, they, they don't make it too hard on you. Um, I actually have to get rid of something. I will make it the sleep herbs. Cause fuck you sleep herbs. Alright, so if you've never captured a monster before, here's how you do it. First things first, you have to weaken the monster. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. I can just explain it. So, you need pitfall trap in this game. Other games there are shock traps, but in this game there are only pitfall traps. So you need a pitfall trap to trap the monster, you need tranquilizer bombs to tranquilize the monster, and you need a weapon to bring that monster to a low enough health to where you can tranquilize the monster. So, not too hard. We also brought flash bombs, so we're gonna actually clear this mission as fast as I possibly can because we're already at 26 minutes. So there might be a little bit of cheese in this video, but you know what? We've killed this thing so many times. I think by now, you really don't care. Throw it back behind us. All right. And the fighting in this guy in here can be kind of annoying. Especially if you aren't used to fighting him. And then you have to fight him in these weird camera angles. And I know this is probably like hard for you to watch. But. That's just how it is. As soon as we leave here. The camera will get better. But as long as we're here. We're going to have a rough time. Now he's mad. Yeah, that's to be expected. That wasn't, um, though. I really hope we don't die here. What are we gonna do? No! That hop. It got me. Jesus. That's our second death of the series. Did you know that? I think that makes me a bad monster hunter player. You know, I'm gonna blame it on the camera. Yep, I have that right. Just gonna blame it on the camera. Maybe I'll blame it on my armor too. Yeah, I'm definitely not at fault here. It's everything else in this situation. Not my skill, just the game. Hmm, weird. Or at least we don't have to run very far. Uh, in the next episode, we will be doing our gather the eggs mission. So get <laughs> prepared as prepared as you can possibly be. He left already. That is sad. Hmm. Well, could be worse. I'm going to assume that he's going to area 3 or 10. Five since season 3 see how much money I okay so I'm up to nine cents that I owe everyone so um, link your PayPal and a, a DM and I'll I'll get you your nine cents huh maybe he's in four I don't really know anywhere else he goes Probably would have been a good idea to paintball him. I think people do that. We might have actually done enough damage to make him go to four. Five even? There's no way we made him go to five. This doesn't make any sense to me. I'm bad at YouTube. Pretty sure next time we'll just tranquilize him.
Hey, Bono. Yeah, not here. What the heck? Or maybe he was swapping areas as we moved areas? That could have happened. Yes, I think. Yeah. We'll say that happened. Maybe he's here now. No. Hmm. Well. This leads me to believe that he's either 9 or 10. And I really don't want to skip 9 and him be here. Look down. No, I don't see him there. <sighs> I think we're going to just like keep Psycho Serums in our inventory from now on. Because this is like kind of sad. It's like slightly sad. Maybe he's just gone. Like disappeared out of nowhere. We're gonna look at nine one more time before we go back all the way up through one. But this is ridiculous. Maybe this is making up for my luck with the Gendrom. I would assume that. There's not nine. Where was that was at? I think all we can go is nine, ten, three, four, five, and two. And he's not here. Ah, uh, this is making for a bad episode. I think I should have just ended it. I don't know why I didn't. I wanted to give you more content, and this is what this is what I get. This is my gift. This isn't even fun anymore. This is just frustrating. We'll go to area two, but I doubt he'll be there. Ah! Gotcha! You little shit. you get? Ugh. Okay, now he's ready to die. And his ears go back like that. We're ready. Some might even say ready Freddy. Cool, he's going to area four. And then he'll immediately go to area five as soon as we get there. I think he has to land first. Then he'll get right back up and go to area 5. Uh, so we're not going to hit him anymore because if you kill him on a capture mission, you lose. Now we could actually... No. Right, it's not going to let us do it. So, when we get here, we're just going to stun him with a flash bomb. Then we're going to plant our pitfall trap. I think we can actually stun him out of the air. So let's actually do that as he falls. If we can get in front of him in the time. Ah, uh, it didn't work. Nice. Plant your pitfall trap. Take a step back. Wait for him to fall in. And then, 
Touch your strength bombs, and we're done. That's it. That's all you have to do. Nothing else. So that most, the majority of that mission was me finding the monster. And sometimes it's like that. If, if you don't uh, paintball them, you will have to just search. But I'm glad that my instincts told me to go to area 2. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have been here for a lot longer. That's that. Capturing monsters is sometimes easier than killing them because of the fact that you don't have to get them as low health. And a lot of times when you capture a monster, you get better and more rewards. So capturing monsters is just more efficient than killing them. But yeah guys, we're about 36 minutes into this episode. So as soon as we get back to town, we're just going to end it off. So three quests, uh, all four star quests are done. So all we have to do now, I think, is um, kill kill some Velocipray and then kill. Um, I'm not sure if there's any more kill quests. A flame sack and a cut two cut shells. Cool. So we have to carry that those three eggs in the desert zone, and then we have to uh, kill those Velocipray. So in the next episode, we'll probably just kill the Velocipray and then do that egg mission. But we'll be able to go back and see exactly what we need to do once we get back to town. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we actually have our urgent quest now. So that's the thing. Uh, we actually aren't going to do our urgent quest until we complete the other ones. So, sadly, you're going to have to wait a whole another episode before we kill the Rathlos. I know. It's heartbreaking. But we're going to have to do the Bring Me Eggs mission and the Slay the Velocipary pack. So we'll do that in the next episode, guys. But, um... Thanks for watching, it's been Wrath. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Later.